David R. here. Today I'm going to talk to you about this book, The Sugar Fix, The High Fructose Fallout That Is Making You Fat and Sick by Richard J. Johnson with Timothy Gower. I'm going to start with fructose and your waistline. Fructose causes rapid weight gain. It also causes greater weight gain than all the other sugars. It doesn't satisfy the appetite. Fructose foods can trick you into eating more calories than your body needs. Fructose consumption causes high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, kidney disease, liver disease, metabolic syndrome. It raises unhealthy blood fats and causes insulin resistance. On page 21 in the box, the ubiquitous sweetener, they list a lot of foods that have high fructose corn syrup in them. And I'll read some of those to you right now. Asian style sauces, baby foods, bacon, beer, biscuits, bologna, brandy, breads and rolls, breakfast cereals, breakfast meats, crackers, diet foods, donuts, dried meats, gravies, ham, hot dogs, ice cream or milk, and the list goes on. I touched on metabolic syndrome, and now I want to define it. Metabolic syndrome is also known as Syndrome X, and it's a list of five symptoms. The first one is abdominal fat. If you're a man and your waistline is over 40, and you're a woman, your waistline is over 35, then you might have metabolic syndrome. Second one is elevated triglycerides. If your fasting blood triglycerides are 150 or over, if you're a guy and your HDL is lower than 40 milligrams per deciliter, if you're a woman, your HDL is lower than 50 milligrams per deciliter, or you take medications to increase HDL, high blood pressure, if your systolic pressure, the top number, is 130 or greater, and your diastolic pressure, the bottom number, is 85, or you take medication to treat high blood pressure. And then the last one is elevated blood glucose. If your fasting blood glucose is 100 or higher, or you take medications to lower your blood glucose. The authors talk about uric acid, and if your uric acid is high, it could make you obese. On the website medicineplus.gov, they say that uric acid is a chemical created when the body breaks down substances called purines. Purines are normally produced in the body and are also found in some foods and drinks. Foods with high content of purines include liver, anchovies, mackerel, dried beans, peas, and beer. Most uric acid is excreted, but some of it builds up and it can make you very, very sick. The other trouble with fructose, that's another section in this book. They talk about the ailments associated with too much fructose in your diet. One is accelerated aging, elevated uric acid, upset stomach, malabsorption, cancer, vision problems. The authors suggest a two-week phase for breaking free from fructose. In option one, you can choose from a long list of foods. Foods to choose during the fructose-free phase. Alfalfa sprouts, artichokes, asparagus, cabbage, cauliflower, celery, sauerkraut, spinach, yams, breads and pasta, which I don't recommend, but they do here, English muffin, pasta, all varieties. There are grains, meat and poultry like beef, chicken, lamb, pork, turkey, fish, breakfast cereals, nuts and seeds, condiments, dairy, fats and oils, etc. Foods to avoid are basically the usual suspects. Candy, cookies, cakes, pies, fruit, fruit juice, Option two is more of a traditional weight loss diet where you just limit calories. Now I'm going to take you through a 14-day eating plan. As you can see on day one, for breakfast you might have sourdough English muffin, toasted Swiss cheese, hot oatmeal, sugar-free breakfast syrup, lunch, chicken noodle soup, fresh celery, ranch dressing, etc., etc. And uh, as you can see, the list goes on. You go from day one to day 14. And then, like I said before, there are recipes at the end of the book. I think this book is okay, but I recommend this one over all sugar books. This is the best. This is number one. And uh, this is a good one, too. It's my second choice.
Robert Lustig, he's uh, all over the place. You probably see his um, speeches. Well, anyway, that's all I got. Talk to you later. Bye.